Hey everyone, welcome back to Fuzzy Logic Lectures. In this video, we will be starting a new concept which is logic. So, what exactly is logic? Logic for humans is a way to quantitatively develop a reasoning process that can be replicated and manipulated with mathematical proofs. Or, in other words, we can say that it is the ability of humans to reasonably think about something with the help of proper proofs and inferences. Now, the mathematical interest in logic is the study of truth in what we call logical propositions. So, what is a proposition? A proposition is the basic building block of logic. In classical logic, the propositions are required to be either strictly false or strictly true but not both. Fuzzy logic, on the other hand, allows the truth value of a proposition to be any value between true and false. In this video, we will review some basic concepts and principles in classical logic. So, let's start our lecture. In classical logic, a simple proposition P is a statement that is either strictly true or strictly false. Some examples for propositions are 2 plus 2 is 4, 1 plus 3 is 0 and cars have 3 wheels. Here the first statement is true but the next two statements are false. So we can assign the truth of first proposition as T of P equal to 1. Also, since these two statements are false, we can say that T of P is equal to 0 for both these statements. Here, P stands for proposition and T stands for truth. Also, note that all statements cannot be propositions. For instance, questions, commands, or requests are not propositions as we cannot associate a truth value to them. Some examples are what is your name which is a question, bring me the food which is a command and please approve the file which is a request. There are cases where a sentence does not provide enough information to determine whether it is true or false. Such sentences are also not propositions. As an example, consider the statement, he is a cricketer. This sentence does not tell us who we are talking about. So, this is not a proposition. However, if we identify the person, then the sentence becomes a proposition. That is, the statement, Virat Kohli is a cricketer, is a proposition. Now, consider two simple propositions P and Q. Then, we can use logical connectives to form new propositions. There are mainly five logical connectives. Conjunction, disjunction, negation, implication and equivalence. Let us learn each of these in detail. In this video, we will focus on conjunction and disjunction. So, let us start with conjunction. Conjunction of two statements P and Q can be written as P conjunction Q. Here, this symbol represents the conjunction operator. P conjunction Q is true only if both P and Q are true and is false for all other possibilities. So, let us create a truth table for conjunction based on four possibilities for truth values of P and Q. As an example, Consider a proposition P which states that 3 is a prime number. We know that this is a true statement. Therefore, T of P is equal to 1. Now, consider another proposition Q which states that 3 is an odd number. Since this is also true, T of Q is equal to 1. Now, using the conjunction operator, we can form a new statement. So, P conjunction Q is the statement 3 is a prime number and 
3 is an odd number. Since this whole statement is true, we can say that T of P conjunction Q is equal to 1. So when both P and Q are true, P conjunction Q is also true. Now let us consider a statement P that is true and a statement Q that is false. Then P conjunction Q is 2 is a prime number and 2 is an odd number. We know that this statement is false. So we can say that when P is true and Q is false, P conjunction Q is also false. Next, consider the situation where P is false and Q is true. Here again the statement P conjunction Q is false. So when P is false and Q is true, P conjunction Q is false. Another interesting thing to note is that in situation 2 and in situation 3, I just interchange the statements P and Q and still the truth value of P conjunction Q was the same in both cases. This shows that conjunction operator is commutative. That is, the order of the statements do not matter. Lastly, if we consider two propositions that are false, the statement formed by their conjunction is also false. So, when P is false and Q is false, P conjunction Q is also false. Now, you might have noticed that conjunction operator in propositional logic is the rough equivalent of joining statements with AND in English language. But is the converse true? That is, whenever there is AND present in the English statement, does that mean that that statement is a conjunction of two simple statements? The answer is no, because it is not always true. For example, consider the English statement, Indian flag is saffron, white and green. Here, the meaning implied is that the Indian flag has part of each color saffron, white and green. However, if we analyze the statement in strict mathematical logic sense, this statement means that Indian flag is at once saffron, white and green. This interpretation is wrong. So, we can conclude that logical conjunction AND is related to but not the same as the grammatical conjunction AND in natural languages. Next, we have the disjunction connective. The disjunction connective or logical OR is used to represent inclusive OR. The reason why I stressed on inclusive OR is because there is also an exclusive OR. So, what is the difference between inclusive and exclusive OR? To understand that, Consider the English statement, we can buy rice for dinner or we can buy chapati for dinner. You must choose. Here, you can't have both. You have to choose one. So, you can see that sometimes when we use the word or to join two English statements, we only regard the whole statement as true if one side or the other is true but not both. This is the exclusive sense of or. Now, consider another statement about someone who scored good marks in exams. The statement is, she is either extremely bright or she studied hard. Each of these statements are true individually, but there is also a possibility that she is both bright and studied hard. This is the inclusive sense of OR. And in propositional logic, we use the inclusive OR. So, if P and Q are two simple propositions, then P disjunction Q is true if either P is true or Q is true or both P and Q are true and is false only if both P and Q are false. Also, I forgot to mention before, this symbol represents the disjunction connective. That's all for this lecture. In the next video, we will learn about the next logical connectives which are implication, equivalence and negation. I hope that all the concepts taught in this video are clear to all of you. 
If you have any doubts, please feel free to ask them in the comments. Either me or some other viewer will help you out. Also, if you found the lecture useful, please like the video and support us by subscribing to the channel. Thank you for watching Topperly and have a great day.